Woo-wee! win launch with one arm, baby. It's all about that feel, baby. To be able to launch anywhere, anytime, piece of cake, no challenge. Takes hours and hours of kiting at the beach. Because flying or kiting is flying. If you're kiting in wind, that simulates flying. So it's very, very critical that you absolutely master that feel and the reflexes and that sensitivity so you feel every tiny little detail and are responding with the smallest little corrections. Very, very small. So it's like trying to fly in a remote control. At first you're just slamming all over the place. And then once you get really good, you're starting to make just tiny little quick fine controls. And that's the only way you're gonna be able to launch in nil wind in a very tight spot perfectly first try without even a question of maybe. Mastery of glider control. And to master glider control, takes hours. The only way you get hours and hours of kiting is to have freaking wind. That's why you cannot learn inland. You have to learn at the beach where you can stand there and kite for 25 to 60 hours all day, every day until you master the glider and then work every detail and dynamic of the launch and landing into reflexes as well. That simply doesn't happen inland. If I could train people inland properly, I'd be doing it. I wouldn't be driving 1,500 freaking miles if I could train people right here, for example. But it'd be a complete, total waste of time to try and train people inland. Anyone that says, oh, you can't learn to fly in light and variable at the beach. Uh, what do you think wind is? Doesn't matter how fast your feet are moving. If you have no wind, you can't kite unless you're running 10 miles an hour. Do you want to run 10 miles an hour for 60 hours? Or do you want to stand on the beach nice and comfortable for 60 hours with wind blowing 10 miles an hour? Duh! <laughs> it's not even... Compare anyone saying you can't learn to fly inland by training at the beach doesn't know anything about the sport or how to fly. They literally won't have even the most basic skills themselves. Just does not happen. And all the little pieces of glider control have to be learned correctly up front. If you learn wrong, you don't just start picking it up. That's why other people who pretend to be instructors literally can't even do what brand new super students can do because they learned wrong they just kept doing it wrong over and over year after year and yeah you can get okay at doing it wrong but you're never going to really find true mastery where a super student who learns every detail of how to do it right and works them into reflexes then years later you got yourself a world-class pilot because they're working on the right things. But you learn wrong, it doesn't matter how long you fly, you still suck. You just don't have that ability for fine, precise control. Let's go flying!